We have here in the back the ABS. It stands for Autonomous Veteran Exploration System. It's a boat that is uh, solar power. So the main goal and function of the boat is to collect the depth of the water. So we have a sensor that is measuring the distance between the surface and the, the depth of the water. And then we can recreate a 3D map of, this, of the underground. So scientists need underwater maps in order to understand uh, water bodies such as lakes, rivers, oceans, uh, reservoirs. So underwater maps can be used to understand how much water is in a reservoir, for example. Also can be used to detect uh, hidden objects that are uh, underwater. The boat is fully autonomous and can make decisions like returning to base if the wind is too strong for sailing. Me as an engineer, my task was to improve uh, the existing system. So we're, doing, we're developing a system that helps scientists to collect data in a better way because they don't need to go into the water. The boat can reach hard to access areas. We can also avoid the crew from dangerous situations. Self-driving boats can serve as an alternative to crewed mission, saving manpower and energy. On the other hand, if we do it manually with a person uh, navigating a boat, it could be dangerous sometimes because weather conditions can complicate the uh, work. And in this case, we have the boat that we just click a button and it will come out of Metal home and we're ready to go, right? Instructions to build this autonomous boat are available online and we would like to encourage air scientists and engineers to give it a try.